This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Good Monday evening, March the 11th. Thank you for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. We do start with breaking news. A traffic headache along I-82 near Sunnyside. That is where Washington State Patrol says a vehicle collision brought down a power pole and telephone and fiber optic cables. My colleague, Alyssa Warner, joining us live from the scene. What do you know here in the 6 o'clock hour now? Hi, Austin. So we have been out here for over an hour now. Traffic still not moving. The only people who have actually changed position at all in the past hour are the ones that have gone across the median and turned around and gone the other way. So I have been talking to some of the drivers out here who have been stuck out here for a couple of hours now. One who said he saw it happen said it was a a truck with a boom that was up. You could see behind me that we have power lines. They say the truck came through, hit the overpass here. You can see the little dent in the concrete where that happened. And then that is what brought down the power lines, he said, and caused all of this mess. So that truck has been removed now. And we saw one truck that looked like it had been trying to get across the median like so many others have and actually got stuck on the way there. So kind of a risky move if you're trying to get through this area. Much better option to just avoid I-82. This is milepost 68 right by Sunnyside. And what we're seeing is that traffic is just not moving. State Patrol at last update said they didn't know when the highway would be able to reopen. We've seen trucks have lifted up some of the lines to get them away from where the uh, from where the traffic is going through. But these other bigger heavy lines just haven't been moved yet. And we're not really sure when they're going to be able to move them. So again, the main message here tonight, try to avoid I-82 if you can. There are detours in place. Your GPS will be able to take you around these closures. But try not to get stuck in this mess because, as I said before, nobody is moving. So we have calls out to State Patrol. We are working to get more information about what happened and when they're going to have I-82 reopened. But for right now, Austin, that's as much as we know. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. Well, at 5 o'clock, we saw you, Alyssa, farther away, so at least you've made it there. Luckily, no injuries to report. At least that's what we are being told at this hour. But I do want to tell you, if you were maybe in your car or if you still are in your car, you're stuck in that traffic, you can go to our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. There is a live picture from about 5.30 until 6 o'clock, and you can go and watch crews work. Again, that's applevalleynewsnow.com. Dot com, your number one source for local breaking news. All right, other news tonight. Our Hanford nuclear site very well may be the last one in the whole United States that gets cleaned up. However, some help is on the way. Over the weekend, President Biden signed a historic budget deal for Hanford site cleanup work. As the former nuclear site received over $3 billion for 2024. And that is a $205 million increase from last year. New at 6, we are learning more about how the money will be spent. The cleanup began in 1989, and it's the first time funding for Hanford has exceeded $3 billion. Ryan Miller with the Washington Department of Ecology tells me Hanford has been underfunded ever since. Historically, seen a Hanford budget that's that's been uh, hundreds of millions of dollars to a billion dollars less than what's fully needed for to keep cleanup on track. And that's what's called a compliant budget. A compliant budget is where energy is, the Department of Energy is able to, um, you know, meet all their cleanup deadlines and, and do the amount of work that's needed. Um, and the compliant budget just reflects that, that work that's needed. The Washington Department of Ecology's analysis shows the federal government can ultimately save taxpayers tens of billions of dollars by providing the U.S. Department of Energy with this budget. You know, historically, Hanford, the Hanford site's just been underfunded for, for what's needed for a compliant budget. And so we've just been really working hard to, to try and uh, you know, share a message with the congressional delegation to the presidential administration to say, hey, you know, uh, here's what a compliant budget looks like for Hanford. Here's why it's important to have a, a compliant budget, because um, ultimately, if you're able to consistently fund Hanford cleanup, you're going to have a cleanup that completes decades sooner, that saves tens of billions of dollars and also just reduces the environmental risk in the long over the long haul. So there's some real big benefits to be able to, to, to fund Hanford. 
After signing the 2024 budget on Saturday, earlier today, President Biden released his administration's proposed budget for 2025. That would include about $3.1 billion to Hanford. Well, do you feel like, um, are there instances just over the last 50 plus years of where um, people are forgetting? Uh, everybody's kind of forgetting it's there. I think that's a really, really great, you know, not great, but uh, when I say great, I mean, that's a really good concern because it's it's true. If you have a, a environmental cleanup project that happens for decades and decades and decades, some folks, you know, they're going to forget about it. Um, and one one real concern that's out there is there's, you know, Hanford's not the only nuclear cleanup site in the United States. And so there's a host of other sites across the country that all of them need compliant funding to to get all of these sites cleaned up. So so when I when I say that we advocate for a compliant Hanford budget, we're also really advocating that all these other environmental sites across the nation get you know an adequate budget as well. Miller also told me no word just yet on when the final numbers for funding from the federal government for 2025 will be announced. But of course, stay with us for updates. The Yakima Nation is launching a new task force to help curb the impact of fentanyl across the more than million acre reservation. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell secured a million dollar grant for the task force to address understaffing at the tribal police department, which was identified as one of the barriers to combating the opioid crisis. The funding will pay for nine patrol officers for one year to help ramp up enforcement efforts. This issue is is really about how do we give the community this, the tools they need and how would we be a better federal partner at, at fighting this. Authorities also say they will measure the success of the task force by the number of drug incidents that the tribal police department responds to and their contributions to regional and federal enforcement efforts. Flags across Washington state will be lowered to half staff tomorrow in memory of a state trooper killed in the line of duty. Governor Jay Inslee directed the lowering of all state and uh, American flags for Tuesday, March 12th. Now, a vehicle struck Trooper Christopher Gadd's patrol car on the side of the interstate on March 2nd. That was on I-5. The crash killed the 27-year-old state patrol trooper. Tomorrow, the community gathers in Everett to honor Trooper Gadd's memorial. There will be a procession right in the Casino Winds Arena starting at 11, and then the memorial starts at 1. The memorial service will be open to the public and available to watch also on the State Patrol's YouTube channel. Let's talk weather now. It is a new week and we are cruising through March and it looks like, you know, this weekend was nice, but this week, eh, I don't know. Stacy, what are you thinking? <laughs> Well, we have a stormy night ahead of us the next 24 hours or so. And again, we're tracking some rain showers tonight across the uh, down the lower Yakima Valley coming up towards Tri-Cities. Hanford seeing some showers and we even are tracking some snow showers along the east slopes of the Cascades. Let's take a look at that sunset, though. I'm enjoying that one extra hour now we're getting of daylight. This was our sunset from last night. It was really nice. You saw all those clouds overhead. We didn't get a lot of rain out of those uh, clouds over the weekend, but we could see some showers hours hit or miss in the Tri-Cities. 56 degrees right now. Winds are light at 7 miles per hour. And look at that sunset at 658. That's what I'm talking about. Winter weather advisories. We've got them for the Cascade Mountains at past level. So if you have any travel plans over the next 24 hours across Snoqualmie, you're going to be want to be careful out there. 5 to 15 inches of snow expected above 3,000 feet. We could see 6 to 18 inches on the east slopes and Oh, almost two feet above 3,000 feet in the uh, southern portion of the Washington Cascade. So that will expire on Tuesday night, but just be prepared for that. So chance of showers coming through the area tonight. We're going to see breezy and gusty winds. Those will start to pick up overnight as well. Again, we're paying attention to those mountain passes with snow across pass level and spring like conditions coming our way by midweek. Austin. All right, and uh, let's see. St. Patty's Day is coming up, too. All right, thank you, Stacy. We'll see you in just a bit. The news at 6 just getting started for you. Still ahead, we're going to tell you all about a new project underway in Washington State. It's called a Bee Atlas, plus a popular summertime event that draws tens of thousands of spectators and injects cold, hard cash into the local economy. Why Water Follies is in need of support. We're back right after this.
There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you gotta go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at AW, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. This all time great deal is available Tuesdays only at AW. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as 14 days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Want to know how I get this glow? I get ready with new Olay Indulgent Moisture Body Wash. It smells amazing and gives my skin over-the-top moisture. From dull to visibly glowing in 14 days. What? Major noise. See the difference with Olay. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. In the heart of winter, when the temperatures are becoming frigid, there's a fire within some that refuses to be extinguished. But what happens when the call of adventure clashes with silence? That's when the real power of determination shines through. We're here when you need us. Batteries Plus. Awaken your drive. With DISH, get the same TV bill every month for two years. Coming. No price hikes, no surprises. <laughs> because surprising TV shows are great. Surprising TV bills, not great. Let's get you some fresh water. The two-year TV price guarantee from Dish. Tuned in to you. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000, but now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, nearly invisible, easy to use, and comfortable hearing devices for only $99, but only from Audion. It's easy to use. They're small. A pair of $99 Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Call to order. 1-800-617-3809. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Hello there, watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Apple Valley News Now, live at 6. The West Valley School District is facing a lawsuit by a former employee who says she was wrongfully terminated from her position. However, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us she's not the only employee alleging that these issues came up with the district and then the union protected those activities. Here's Emily. According to attorney Bill Pickett, in addition to that lawsuit, the district has now been served just this afternoon with another claim by an employee who is currently working for the district, but says that he was denied union representation in violation of their collective bargaining agreement. Trying to subvert employees' rights to organize. That's wrong. In the first case, former human resources technician Amy Joffs claims that assistant superintendent of business operations Joe Connolly began limiting communication in April 2022 with eight employees at the district office, including herself, who had decided to unionize. Then in July 2023, she allegedly received a termination letter saying her position, which had existed in the district for more than 40 years, was being eliminated due to financial issues. But According to the lawsuit, Joffs was repeatedly warned by the HR manager over a year-long period to be very careful and document everything because she was being targeted for termination over her union involvement. That's what the law protects employees with. You can't undermine their ability to make that decision. Um, and when 
doesn't matter if it's a school district or it's a, a, any, a, any employer, they don't get to do that. I reached out to Superintendent Peter Finch about this case and he said, quote, the district is aware of the claim. Due to pending litigation, the district has no comment at this time. However, the claim served to the district this afternoon comes from a current employee, lead mechanic Kurt Sweezy, who Pickett says was blindsided earlier this year when the district accused him of wrongdoing and interrogated him without giving him written notice of the accusations or allowing him to have an attorney or union representative with him in the room. Something Pickett says he's entitled to under the union's collective of bargaining agreement. When you shortcut or you break those promises and those safeguards and you get it wrong, you've actually done exactly what the whole agreement is intended to prevent. The claim also alleges the district threatened Sweezy, saying if he didn't turn in his resignation, quote, his career would be over. He is currently out on paid administrative leave. The district has 60 days to respond to that claim, and if they don't, Pickett says they will be filing another lawsuit against the district in Yakima County Superior Court. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. All right, Emily, stay with us for updates. Back in Kennewick, a Kennewick man has been sentenced to 30 years in prison for the murder of Ezekiel Sanchez back in April of 2022. Ramon Candido was found guilty of murder in the second degree and unlawful possession of a firearm in the first degree back in December. Investigators say Candido shot and killed Sanchez from his car after pulling up next to Sanchez's car at a home in downtown Kennewick. Authorities say they were rival gang, uh, gang, they were gang rivals. Sanchez died a short time after getting into the hospital. Now, during the trial, Candido admitted that he shot Sanchez, but said he did it in self-defense. The prosecutors asked for the sentence to be lower than normal, saying that Candido showed a lack of remorse. The judge in the case returned a sentence of 30 years, which is above the standard range to be followed by three years of community custody. Well, in lighter news, a long-running summer event in the Tri-Cities needs help from you. They need sponsorship to continue. Walter, Walter, Water Folly says the event has suffered financial losses since 2020. Organizers say, according to Visit Tri-Cities, the event brings in $2.7 million to our economy. It's one of the biggest events around here. Title sponsorship for the hydroplane races is necessary for it to continue. STCU has sponsored the Over the River Air Show, and organizers say about 1,200 volunteers work each year to create the event, which draws more than 50,000 spectators. This is uh, this would be the Water Follies. Uh, the, the Water Follies uh, takes place rather July 26th through the 28th. And bee lovers, listen up! If you're buzzing about a new Washington Department of Project. Uh, Department of Agriculture project. Here it is, the Washington Bee Atlas. And those, uh, those little lovers from across the state are signing up with swarms to help with it. Volunteers are helping to collect and map all of the Washington State County's native bee species. It's estimated that there are around 600 species of bees in the state. Most bees can't be identified by only a photo or just looking at them in the field. So they have to be caught and then collected for identification in the lab. The project and program is also recording which followers, uh, which flowers rather, the bees are visiting and using as food sources. The program is modeled after Oregon's native bee project, which in turn was modeled after Master Gardener, the uh, after, uh, Let's see, uh, which in turn was modeled after the Master Gardener program, which has 50 years of international success. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And let's take a look at our First Alert radar. We're starting to see those showers coming through and the snow starting to fall along the east slopes of the Cascades, along I-90 there, right on down into the Columbia Basin towards Walla Walla tonight. Right now, 56 degrees on our Dust Devil Sky Cam in Pasco. Winds are light at 7. Those winds are going to start picking up a little bit later this evening. Let's talk about the weather pattern. They're calling this a mini atmospheric river. We've been dealing with that word. You've been hearing that term a lot. System moves through, bringing those showers. This is what it looks like tomorrow along the Cascade Crest all the way down into Oregon. We'll continue to see those snow showers there. 
Most of that will start to taper off as we get into Wednesday, and then we'll have a ridge of high pressure moving in that's going to warm things up above the average. Now, our winter weather advisory is saying 5 to 15 inches above 3,000 feet. That's at past level across Snoqualmie. East slopes could pick up anywhere from 6 to 18 inches, also above 3,000 feet, and uh, down a little further south in the uh, Washington Southern Cascades, up to 2 feet possible there. This is uh, by 11 o'clock tomorrow night, so heavy snow coming across the Cascades. Here's those showers moving through tonight. A little bit unsettled will be a little bit overcast. Most of the rain should be light, if any collection at all for the lower elevations, but we are going to keep track of the snow that's going to be falling across the Cascades, impacting travel across I-90 tomorrow, so be very aware of that. As we get into our Wednesday, we'll have a few clouds moving out of the area. That ridge of high pressure moves in, and then we're going to see cooler or excuse me, warmer conditions with clearer skies. Let's take a peek at our temperatures overnight. We are staying in the upper 30s tonight in Toppenish and Sunnyside, right in the mid 30s for Yakima and a chilly 32 tonight in Cleelum. Moving into the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities, the warm spot Tri-Cities at 44, 39 tonight in Prosser and Connell, 41 in Hermiston. Foothills of the Blues will be in the low 40s there as well. So a few scattered showers on and off. It's a little cooler in the Yakima Valley, so maybe some of those upper elevations could see a little bit of snow. Now let's talk about uh, the winds tonight. We're going to really see them picking up here in the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities, Foothills of the Blues, and even into the Yakima Valley. This is around midnight or so. It will continue to be breezy as we move through, and that system makes its way uh, to the east. As we get into Wednesday, that's when we'll finally see the winds mainly calming down. Down, still seeing a little bit of blustery winds along the foothills of the blues. Temperatures for tomorrow, it's going to be pretty nice around the area, close to 60 degrees in the Tri Cities, 56 in Walla Walla, 55 in Toppenish, 53 tomorrow in Yakima. Let's take a look at that seven day planning forecast. Of course, St. Patty's Day this year on Sunday. Once we get through the little bit of a stormy day tomorrow, look at that. We clear up and those temperatures get nice and warm. We're talking anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees above the average. In Yakima, a little bit of rain there, but clear skies looking good on St. Patty's Day and those warm temperatures. It's going to start to feel like spring and we're still eight days away from the official start of spring. This is what it looks like in Walla Walla. A rainy day tomorrow on and off and then clearing skies looking pretty mild the rest of the week. And in Hermiston, we'll see lots of sunshine once we get through that Tuesday with those overnight lows coming up above the freezing level. So not a bad looking forecast, Austin. All right, Stacey, thank you so much. A healthcare billing company hit by hackers. Now the Biden administration is asking for assistance for that victimized company. That story is next at six. I'm loving a pizza, loving a pizza. Tony's Big Cheese Pizza, loving a pizza. I've been loving a pizza, Tony's Big Cheese Pizza, and Yakima's hometown pizzeria. Stop by, we can't wait to see you. The freshest, tastiest pizza around. No need to drive all over town for great pizza. Tony's Big Cheese Pizza. I'm loving the pizza. More pizza. Hepatitis C? Don't just treat it. Crush it with Maverick. Conquer it with Maverick. Cure it with Maverick. Maverick cures all types of hep C. In only eight weeks. The virus multiplies daily and can damage the liver over time. Maverick stops hep C and cures it. If you've had hepatitis B, it may flare up and cause serious liver problems during and after treatment. Tell your doctor if you've had hep B, a liver or kidney transplant, other liver problems, HIV, other medical conditions, and all your medicines. Do not take Maverick with atazanavir or rifampin. Report right away yellow skin, stomach pain or swelling, confusion and bleeding or bruising. Hep C, crush it with Maverick. Conquer it. Cure it in only eight weeks. See hep C gone with Maverick. Ask your doctor about Maverick. Abby could help you save. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998. Open seven days a week.
People don't really realize how much of an impact the feet have on the rest of the body. A lot of times people with knee pain, there's really nothing going on with their knee. The issue is actually stemming from the foot. So now we're predisposed to hip pain, low back pain. What I really like about the good feet system is that when the foot's placed in the ideal position, everything else up the kinetic chain works better. You have better balance, more energy. You're going to feel better and you're not going to have to spend so much time worrying and thinking about your pain. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Navigating a real estate transaction can be overwhelming from finding the right property to navigating the closing process. That's why a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process, an in-house marketing team to maximize your home's exposure, transaction coordinators to ensure accuracy throughout the transaction, and a network of local industry experts. With Windermere on your side, you can have peace of mind and confidence in your real estate journey. All right, welcome back. A recent cyber attack has negatively, uh, negatively impacted how health care providers get paid. As a result, the Secretary of Health and Human Services and the Acting Labor Secretary, in a letter, urged private insurers to make advanced payments to health care providers to prevent a disruption in service. Hackers hit Change Healthcare, which is part of the United Health Group, which processes 15 billion health care transactions per year. Well, the Oscars brought out the stars last night in Hollywood, but one health expert's message to them is very clear. That story coming up new at 6.30. Stay with us. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Windermere Group One. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you gotta go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at AW, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. This all time great deal is available Tuesdays only at AW. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Hmm. Imagine all the slopes you'll conquer. Sick. Imagine all the sights you'll see. Wow. Whoa. Okay, how about you imagine dropping me off? <laughs> Right now, lease a new 2024 RAV4 for just $389 a month. See your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at US Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. Trade you my PB&J for that phone. No kid, you don't have to trade. See, $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom. Chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. games are virtual reality video games especially when you're in a player versus player battle arena and you're right about hollow gate being another fun thing you could do at triple play yes i win another round that makes roy nine stand three epic comeback incoming triple play has fun attractions for everyone including bowling ropes course and many more all attached to a cozy hotel if i wasn't too big to fit in there i'd whoop them both in life's delicate moments, turn to the compassionate experts at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Whether it's hospice, palliative, or grief care for adults and children, we are here for you in Benton and Franklin counties. And the best part, our grief support comes at no cost to you. When life gets tough, we're here to guide you, ensuring you live your best life, even through the toughest moments. Visit us today at tccbestlife.org. We're done. What about these? Looks right. Ah! Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge and is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. New herbal essences, sulfate-free. Packed with pure aloe and camellia flower oil, your hair will love. And none of the things it won't. 
hair that feels deeply nourished, soft, and lightweight. New Herbal Essences. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. And good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. Alyssa Warner is on assignment. Well, first at 6.30 tonight, our big story is fresh this half hour. The Richland Police Department has announced the launch of a new team to get ahead of the curve of domestic violence in the Richland community. According to the police department, the team has three dedicated officers undergoing extensive training to support survivors of domestic violence. Here's Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald. The Richland Police Department calls the Domestic Violence Response Team DBIRT for short, and it's a resource that the community has been needing. It impacts our community greatly. Uh, as we know, it's an underreported offense. We do see that it is a continuous offense. DVIRT is meant to provide comprehensive support to those affected by domestic violence in our community. It's made up of three RPD patrol officers who volunteered for the role. They are patrol officers, so they are still responsible for their assigned duties as patrol officers. They've just uh, uh, volunteered to step up and conduct, conduct the follow-up needed. Uh, so they work with our SARC, with our domestic violence advocates, with our prosecutor's office, uh, and they do follow up with our victims uh, to ensure that uh, any injuries that weren't identified initially are followed up on, uh, or just any resources that they may need are given to them afterwards. Commander Christopher Mason says the team attends extra training focused on DV, like most recently, a domestic violence summit and conference in Spokane. Soon, the team will go through interview-based training and evidence collection training. According to Commander Mason, domestic violence is a complex issue that requires a multifaceted approach with thorough investigation. So we have the initial incident that happens, we have the investigation that occurs on scene or post incident, and then we have the follow up. And that's what we're trying to work up on is that we understand that this is a complex problem, that this doesn't happen just overnight. And for people who have been affected by domestic violence, he says it's not their fault. And those that are victims, uh, we want them to understand that it's not their fault. And I think it's important for everyone to understand that those that are victims of violence, it's not their fault. Often there is shame and confusion that's assigned to these, uh, to these events, and we want them to know that we're here to help them and to provide them the resources available. The team started in mid-February, and Commander Mason says it's the only team like it in the Tri-Cities. That was Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald. The commander also says that domestic violence often goes unreported, but there are resources for people. Go to our website, applevalleynewsnow.com, and we posted links there. Let's talk about our weather. It is 633, and if you look outside, it feels like it's 4 o'clock. Stacy Lee checking in. <laughs> Austin, so impressed. Yes, yeah, sunshine out there. We're still uh, daylight, I should say. We are tracking a shower starting to move on into the area, right on top of Hander Hanford, just making its way into the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities. Uh, we are seeing snow falling on the eastern slopes of the Cascades, and that will continue overnight. So there it is. Yes, yeah, still daylight, 56 degrees. Our sunset officially at 658 tonight. Winds are light at 7. Those will start be starting to pick up as the evening progresses. Let's take a look at the next three hours. It's going to be wet through most of the evening in Yakima with those temperatures dropping down to 45 by 9 o'clock. Tri-Cities, we're going to start seeing those rain showers continuing through most of the evening. Should start to taper off around midnight or so. Walla Walla looking wet tonight as well, dropping down to 49 by 9 o'clock. And in Hermiston, you've got those showers to deal with tonight as well. But going forward, we've got a winter weather advisory to tell you about. We're going to be tracking some strong gusty winds in the area tomorrow of all those details coming right up. Austin. All right, we'll see you then. Thank you. It has been more than a century since the filing fee for voters submitted ballot proposals has gone up. Now in effect in Olympia, the fee went from $5 to $156. Back in 1912, Amendment 7 of the Washington State Constitution was approved by voters to create the ability for your average citizen to file initiatives and referenda. Secretary of State Steve Hobbs says the adjustment is overdue. The new price reflects the reality of inflation and the cost for state agencies to process the potential ballot measures. Back when Amendment 7 was approved at $5 per filing, the average home price was 
Oh, this, this is crazy. $3,500. A gallon of milk was about 35 cents. And moving tickets were only 7 cents. Thanks for reminding everybody that we're getting older. <laughs> Tomorrow marks primary election day here in Washington State. You should have your ballot in the mail already. We've been mentioning this before, but another quick reminder, reminder for this election only, you have to select a political party affiliation. Don't forget to sign your ballot to ensure it counts. And as with all elections in Washington, you can return your ballot by mail or you can drop it in an, in an official ballot drop box by 8 tomorrow evening. You can find local ballot drop box locations on the local county auditor's websites. A new frightening incident for passengers on a Boeing plane. The Latam Airlines flight from Australia to New Zealand had a mid-air technical problem. Here we go again. During the flight, passengers say the plane suddenly began to plummet, throwing passengers around the cabin. One passenger on the 787 Dreamliner says passengers who were not wearing seatbelts flew out of their seats, with some hitting their heads right on the ceiling. It was just like the worst form of turbulence um, you could you could think of. So everyone just hits hits the um, the roof. Everyone was terrified. There were people whimpering all over. Um, there were people injured all over. Very scary. The plane did land in Auckland, New Zealand. However, at least 50 passengers were treated for injuries, and the airline says 13 went to the hospital. Injuries ranged from head and neck issues to broken bones. Latham Airlines released a statement calling this a technical event, which led to strong movement. Boeing issued a statement saying the company is gathering information about the incident. Well, new at 6.30 tonight, the Department of Commerce awards over 200000 bucks for the Child Care Capacity Building Partnership in Walla Walla. The money will go to remodel the Center for Children and Families, where they are adding birth to age two services. Birth to age two services, a partnership between Walla Walla Public Schools and Center for Children and Families. The goal of the project is to expand family access to fully subsidized toddler and infant child care in the Walla Walla area. And this remodel will double the capacity for fully subsidized infants and toddlers. The project is expected to be complete by December. Well, today, $19 million in funding was secured for Okanagan Wenatchee Forest Conservation. $7 million of this federal funding will go to protect 35,000 acres in one of the Wenatchee River Basins area. Now, another $12 million will help finish the final phase of the Washington Cascades Yakima River Watershed Project, which aims to protect 30,000 acres of land at the headwaters of the Yakima River Basin in Kittitas County. The project focuses on restoring salmon, steelhead, and bull trout habitat, preventing wildfires, increasing recreational access, and delivering uh, and storing clean water for farmers, the Yakima Nation, and the thousands of central Washington households. Expect some changes ahead. Stacy is tracking her forecast. Here's a live look right now from our Richland Skycam. It's 56. You're watching the news at 6.30. The area's only live local news at this time. We'll be back. A view of the Palouse like no other. Fly the Northwest Tuesday. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you got to go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at A&W, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just 5 bucks. This all-time great deal is available Tuesdays only at A&W. This is the first sit-down that people have seen. Christina Applegate with Jamie Lynn Sigler. My symptoms have started the early part of 2021. Powerful, inspiring, this week on... Good morning, America. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. 
I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more for my antidepressant. Raylar helped give it a lift. Adding Raylar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Raylar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Valar and learn how Abvi can help you save. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus, get zero down and 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,800 off select Kubota tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. <laughs> KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. We appreciate you staying with us. A certain class of weight management drugs like Eli Lilly's Mongero and Ozempic have been the source of fascination and controversy since hitting the market in recent years. Some celebrities have used the medications to slim down fast. However, one drug maker's new ad delivered a stark warning during Sunday night's Academy Awards ceremony. These drugs are not meant for everyone. New tonight, Michael Yoshida explains what is behind the ad campaign and what doctors are now advising? As Hollywood's biggest stars hit the red carpet for the Oscars, pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly rolling out a new ad aimed against the vanity use of weight loss drugs. Some people have been using medicine never meant for them, for the smaller dress or tux. The advertisement not specifically mentioning Lilly's drugs or its competitors, which are approved by the FDA for diabetes and chronic weight management. People whose health is affected by obesity are the reason we work on these medications. It matters who gets them. But recently, getting the drugs to the right people has been tough. I have seen dire shortages of medications with my patients. This has been a major, major challenge. Patients flying to different states to get these medications. Another issue, according to Dr. Fatima Cody-Stanford, is that these drugs, which mimic hormones to reduce appetite and affect how our body produces insulin, were only intended for a very specific use by a very specific set of patients, those with type 2 diabetes or obesity. We have no science to back the use of these medications outside of the context of those clinical conditions. There are zero studies published in any medical journal, both here in the U.S. and around the world, that look at vanity use of these medications. Eli Lilly CEO hoping the message is clear. These medicines were invented for people with a serious health condition. They're not invented, you know, just to have someone who's famous look a little bit better. I'm Michael Yoshida reporting. All right, and more local news tonight. The Oregon State Fire Marshal launching a program to help homeowners in the state pay for defensible space projects. Creating defensible space is one of the best ways to protect your home during a wildfire. People who meet eligibility requirements will get a $250 one-time payment. To meet eligibility, home and property owners and renters have to live in a certain area and get a free defensible space assessment. A local fire service agency will do the assessment by walking the property with you and give advice about increasing fire resiliency. 
You can find out if you live in an eligible community at OregonDefensibleSpace.org. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And we're tracking some showers moving into the area as you can see tonight. Plus, we're seeing those snow showers falling in the Cascade Mountains. We have winter weather advisories there, but a wet night ahead for pretty much our entire region. Our Legends Casino Skycam showing 56 degrees right now. Our sunset, there it is at almost 7 o'clock tonight. Winds are light right now at 7 miles an hour. Those are going to start picking up through the night as this system moves through. Here's the pattern. There's that big band of rain. They're calling it a mini atmospheric river. It's going to continue to bring those snow showers all the way down from the top of the state into Oregon and even into Northern California. As the system gets a little unsettled on Tuesday as we move into Wednesday, that ridge of high pressure is going to start moving in. That's going to give us warmer conditions and, uh, well, more mild weather. 5 to 15 inches we have uh, possible above 3,000 feet along that I-90 corridor, Snoqualmie Pass, east slopes up to a foot and a half and nearly two feet possible for the southern Washington Cascade. So just be aware of that. That winter weather advisory in place till 11 o'clock on Tuesday. So the mountains getting some more much needed snow. We need that snowpack. Here's our uh, scattered showers that are going to continue through the night about midnight or one o'clock in the morning. Most of the showers should be out of the area and uh, we'll continue to see snowfall across the Cascade Mountains. Clearer conditions with spotty showers uh, do in some areas like Hepner and Hermiston. We could see a little bit of that move through tomorrow in the Columbia Basin. We'll continue to monitor snowfall, heavy snowfall at times across I-90 and then we start to mellow out as we get into our Wednesday morning. That's that's when the weather's going to change. That ridge of high pressure moves in, and that's going to bring those warmer temperatures. We're talking 10 or 15 degrees above average. Overnight lows tonight, most of us staying above the freezing level, a little bit cooler toward Yakima and Cleelum. And overnight tonight, we could see a couple of snowflakes, not going to have any uh, measurable, like any kind of sticking snow. However, it is possible uh, the upper elevations around the Yakima Valley. Let's take a look at the Columbia Basin tonight with temperatures in the upper 30s and mid 40s, and we'll stay in the low 40s along the foothills of the blues. Let's talk winds. We're going to see those winds pick up, especially in the Columbia Basin, Tri-Cities. About midnight or so, you'll really start to feel these winds picking up through the area by midday tomorrow. Pretty gusty, so just be prepared for that, especially in the Columbia Basin along the foothills of the blues. We'll stay windy most of the day tomorrow, and then things start to mellow out as we get into Wednesday, and most of that system will be through the area, so that's good. Temperatures tomorrow looking great around the area. We're in the 40s and 50s, 56. Walla Walla, 58 Tri-Cities, 53 in Yakima. Looking good. Let's plan your day for tomorrow. Check it out. You'll see those showers. Again, it's showing maybe a little mixed precip in Yakima, but I'm thinking upper elevations if you live up on the hills around Yakima. You could see a little bit of mixed precip. Should be mild by the uh, middle of the day. Uh, hit or miss showers in the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities. Most of the wet weather will probably be happening in Walla Walla, so uh, just be aware of that. Once we get through your Tuesday, things are looking good. Like I said, as we go into Wednesday, we're going to have nice warm temperatures uh, coming up. Let's take a quick look at our seven day forecast. Check it out as we head into St. Patty's Day weekend. Those temperatures warming up and we've got pretty mild weather going forward. Tri-Cities and Yakima looking good there as well with temperatures staying above the freezing level and actually on the warm side. So uh, we've got a lot of good weather to look forward to. Austin, back to you. <laughs> All right, I keep watching the leprechaun dancing. I don't know why, but it's a Monday and it makes me feel good. All right, still ahead tonight. If you use Airbnb, we have some information you want to hear next. What the company will no longer allow in rentals. You don't want to miss this story. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid with the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. Because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. 
Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. Are you looking for a bank that has traditional values and modern solutions? Are you looking for a bank that is member owned? Are you looking for a bank that leaves a lasting impact on the community? I've got news for you. You're not looking for a bank. Belong to something better. Join Hapo Community Credit Union where you are more than just a member. Visit hapo.org to join today. Where do you credit union? Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique, and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. When Fred's advertises it, we've got it. Fred's warehouses are loaded with inventory. When your fridge stops working, you need a new one and you need it now. Fred's has them in stock. The box stores never have this much inventory on hand. You can wait weeks for delivery. At Fred's, get your new appliance the next day. Fred's always has the guaranteed lowest price and shows you competitors' prices on our price tag. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Well, here's a buzzer for you. Home rental company Airbnb will ban indoor security cameras by the end of next month. The rental app says it made the move to protect renters' privacy cameras used in allowed in common areas, such as hallways and living rooms. Hosts had to stay in the listing that they had indoor cameras, which needed to be clearly visible. They are prohibited under the rule, which takes effect April 30th. This comes after reports of some renters finding hidden cameras. Outdoor cameras will still be allowed as long as hosts disclose their location and use and use before guests actually book the property. And the Mega Millions jackpot is still going. There was no winner on Friday, so it will be at 735 million bucks for Tuesday's drawing. This makes it the sixth largest Mega Millions in history. The jackpot has been growing since it was last won in early December. Final look at your forecast next. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you gotta go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at AW, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. This all time great deal is available Tuesdays only at AW. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and Replace it with the product so good you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. With the rain and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Call today to receive 0% financing on approved credit. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roofer replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is a sign you'll want your yard. Before you head for the slopes, catch the Apple Valley News Now Northwest Ski Report. It's on air during weather, online at applevalleynewsnow.com or on our mobile app. The Northwest Ski Report from Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Schweitzer Mountain Resort in Sandpoint, Idaho. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. Giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer, the world's best. Put your water worries to rest. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. 
is why use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as 14 days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Want to know how I get this glow? I get ready with new Olay Indulgent Moisture Body Wash. It smells amazing and gives my skin over-the-top moisture. From dull to visibly glowing in 14 days. What? Major noise. See the difference with Olay. See, Alice, it's snowy and cold out here, but in Triple Play's toasty indoor water park, people are happy and warm. This is snow? Right, boy, she's never seen it. It's cold and sticks to my feet. This stuff rules. Ah, uh -huh, look, she made a snow, Roy. That is clearly a snow stand. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including bowling, ropes course, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. Who is that? My Aunt Shirley. In life's delicate moments, turn to the compassionate experts at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Whether it's hospice, palliative, or grief care for adults and children, we are here for you in Benton and Franklin counties. And the best part, our grief support comes at no cost to you. When life gets tough, we're here to guide you, ensuring you live your best life, even through the toughest moments. Visit us today at tccbestlife.org. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Hello there, watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. All right, check this out. Stacy's at the desk. She's going to help me with this one. A skiing, a skier traversing the snowy wilderness in Japan found himself in trouble. The incident recorded on his GoPro. Sean Toms was skiing in Hokkaido on March 4th when he discovered a hidden waterfall and hot spring. Now the video shows him fall into the hot spring underground. He didn't get hurt, but found it very challenging to get out of the hot spring. He eventually did make it to safety. Now that has to like, when does that ever happen? That's, That's a rare, rare occurrence. Yeah, it is <laughs> weird. It's never happened to me yet. Hopefully I know because you're the big skier. So right. I'll be heading up to the mountains once again this weekend. Yay. So All right. how's All right. it looking? Uh, well, uh, we're getting some more fresh powder, a okay. bunch of great new snow. So skiing should be excellent for the weekend. Let's take a look at our weather photo though this came at in from Larry Niels look at that cool looking cloud off in the distance that was taken near Patterson looking west towards Canoe Ridge, uh, Ridge Winery so thanks for sharing uh, go up there and snap a picture of that QR code use your uh, smartphone and that's how you can submit a photo just like that super easy to do and again thank you to Larry for sharing and all of the folks that have been sharing the photos I try to get a different one up each and every day all right let's take a quick look at what's coming up look at this I thought we'd count it down on <laughs> six days now till St. Patty's, eight days until spring officially starts, nice. 20 days till Easter Sunday, and then look at 79 days till Memorial Day. So there is our list of what's coming up. All right. And uh, yeah, if you are going to be on the passes tonight, yeah. be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. We'll see you at 11. Hoping your news is good news. Have a good night.